Hey guys, it's your boy Homie Ziggy. I'm back in here with another video, and today we're gonna be reacting to, and sorry if I pronounce this name wrong, Jernigal featuring Queen ne Queen Nella, Queen Nella. Sorry, like I said, if I mess it up, sorry. Active activism, and this was October 2020. Now, basically, this was a song that one of my Instagram, one of my friends them sent on, was teasing a while back, a month back or so, and she was basically was from Rachel. On her Instagram, she was talking about she was gonna have a song out coming soon, and this was the song. And I asked her that, and I, and I was telling her that this is gonna be the first time I ever heard her sing, cause to me personally, I have never heard her sing before. So this gonna be this gonna I'm gonna see how she sounds and so and I told her if when this came out send me a link to it so I can react to it. Well here's the here's today and I really can't wait to see how it and judging by the cover type and so you can tell like this is a you can say it's like a Jamaican kind of vibe to it and so so like I say we better check this video out so without wasting y'all time so without further ado let's get into the video not turn no more blind eyes feel it me be crying innocent youths can't find them So, basically, yep, I already, because once, I told you, once I saw the cover on it, I knew it was going to have a Jamaican rhythm, like a Jamaican vibe to it, so yeah. And I'm going to be your translator today, no, I'm it, And it's like this, I'm going to try to, and for people it's like this, yeah, I know I'm Jamaican, but it's like this, I speak normal English, it's just like if there's Jamaican people around me, I'm going to speak it, nothing's wrong with it. But when I'm like around in like people who don't know my lang who don't know my culture and all, who don't know my language, even though I'm Jamaican, I'm speaking full good English, like what I'm doing right now. You you would think that I don't know patois or patois as it as we call we know we call it patois, but the real language the real official name for it is patois. But basically people would think that I don't speak patois. And you would think that I'm not Jamaican, but that's not the case. I am Jamaican. It's just that I don't speak it that much often. But yeah. But like I'm saying, I'm gonna try my best to translate it for y'all. So basically, what he was saying there in the hook about doing it, I'm gonna like how it do for the youth, them brainwash and I kill them. That basically means like some some kids out there, some like young gener young generation people, like the youth, them. They always do some bad stuff and so that be able and that brainwash them to think that it's good for them but in the end it gets themselves killed. The 
society Man I sell a school gate to buy shoes And put food by your plate You would stop If you're a real Jamaican you will know the struggle That every pair, every mother, children Every mother always wants to sell so sell, Like I sell something for Able to provide food Whether it's socks, bag juice, whatever if you're a real Jamaican, you will know the struggle when it comes to parents selling, sitting, just to give you a little food and so. Once you do good things in life, Jesus, Jah will protect you. Jah is basically how we call G Jesus for most Rastafarians. But bro, that's a good... Fr to me personally, and it's like this. Yeah, I'm a Christian, straight up, no matter what. I'm not like those heavy, heavy Christians and all, but... I'm a light Christian, you would say, but no. But basically, it don't matter if you're, heavy, if you're heavy on it or light on it or whatever. Once you know you do good things to up uh, for other people, good things is gonna happen to you back. Straight up. That's why you always see me, even though and it's like this. That's why you will never ever see me brag about stuff that I haven't so. Cause I know once I do that, it immediately gone. Like straight up. So that's why that's why you'll never ever see me brag yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it would be nice to have, like, good things and all, but it's like this. I'm not going to take it up to a point where I brag about it and saying, oh, I'm better than you and who, what you know about this and all that. No. I'm going to know when to do it. I Basically, it's like this. I will never, ever brag about how better, how much I'm better than anybody. You will never hear me do that. Bro, all I can say is, bro, Rachel and Johnny Dow. Sorry if I, like I said before, sorry if I got the names wrong. But it, but basically, Rachel, you guys killed it, for real. This and the fact that it's Jamaican based, bro, that just makes it whole time better. Cause it's like this to me. I don't. This is my normal. This is me. For the no matter what type or so, right? Like I always say, I believe in diversity, right? Nothing's wrong with learning about different languages or speaking different languages or different culture or whatnot. Nothing's wrong with that. But at the end of the day, whatever culture you were born at first, 
you know it's gonna be from your heart to your roots to everything so that's why I'm always saying even if you would see me bumping out to whatever like Pop Smoke, Lil TJ, Polo G whatever right whether it's hip hop, rap, art no not wait hip hop, rap or rock music or whatever at the end of the day through my heart and soul it's always gonna be Jamaican no matter what but like I said but it's like this now I like this song. I can see this, and for the first time I'm listening to her singing, she sound good. She sound great. She she had some good fact. She had some great facts in there about her song about some of us look. Some of our youths always struggle for a hungry belly and such, and some of us always end up brainwashed about stuff and end up getting killed. That's what I'm always saying. Always watch out. Always watch your back, cause you never know who's who you gonna trust, and then who gonna stab you in the back. But regardless of that, this song is a, is great to me personally. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. It's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Let go.